Now, Microsoft Excel 2013 makes opening workbooks really very simple. When you first start Excel, you'll see that on your left, you have a list of your recent workbooks anyway. So if that's one you wish to reopen, you simply choose that from the list. So here I have my first workbook, click and the file then opens. Alternatively, we go to file and open and we can look in recent workbooks. And again, that shows my first workbook. Here we have a SharePoint server, SkyDrive server, my computer, or we can add a place as we've seen earlier. So let's go to computer. Let's look in the current folder. The current folder is the folder you've currently got files open from. So that's the training documents, which is why I've got my first workbook there. Or we could go into recent folders, or we could just browse our machine. Well, actually, let's pick up a recent folder for this, and you'll find that in your working folder, you'll see sample sales. And we can open sample sales with a sheet in there called forecast. Now, when you open a file, you might want to make a few changes and then do save. Alternatively, you may want to do a save as. So you want to leave the original file in its original location with its original data, but you'd now like to take this file and give it a new name, possibly in a different location, but one that has its own entity. So to do a save as, we go to file and save as. Again, we need to choose where are we going to store this new file. Well, I'm actually going to place it into the current folder and call it sample sales my forecast, which will allow me to have a second file called sample sales my forecast and leave the sample sales file untouched. And you can see in the title bar at the top, we have the new file name. Now, as well as the ability to save files with new names, we can save them with slightly different formats. If, for example, you wanted to share this file with somebody who has an earlier version of Excel, then you may be required to save it in an older format. So we do that through File, Save As. Again, tell it where to save it. Let's save it in the current folder. But it's the Save As type here that gets changed. Now the XLSX format will work for 2013, 2010, and for 2007. Anybody using an older version of Excel than that will need an older file type. So in the little drop down, there are a lot to choose from in here. You're looking for Excel 97 to 2003 workbook. You'll notice the extension is slightly different. It's an XLS, not XLSX. But by saving it in an older format, we allow people with older versions of Excel to open it. So I then save the file. Nothing really has changed. The extension is different, XLS instead of XLSX. So we can open workbooks really very easily from file and open. Recent ones are listed here. You can see all the ones we've just been opening. Or we can go to computer or SkyDrive to open them from wherever they are. And then we can save them with different names using Save As or with different file types by using Save As. Now the main reason for Save As a different file type will be to save in an older format. So people on older versions of Excel, those before 2007, can still open and close and edit that file.